Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So this is our second permanent signing of the season and this is confirmed by the club this morning that Florian Lujan, probably haven't said it right, has um, signed a five year deal at Newcastle United and I think this has kind of put to bed all the rumours, hopefully, because to be honest I'm sick of hearing them now. <laughs> The rumours about Rafa leaving and him being unhappy of the transfers and everything and then now things are starting to come through. As I said before, um, I think it would take for what to hit that July mark, new financial year, before we started seeing deals coming through. And it has, and I want to read out two quotes today which I've picked up which I think are quite important on backing up my whole thing about Rafa and Rafa Stein and all that. Um, but yeah, I'm delighted that another bit of business has been done for the club, you know. I've seen clips of him and he has, for, for a centre back, he has scored one stunning goal to be fair. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen that much of him, to be honest. But let us know what you think below. But the clips I have seen from that one goal he scored was great. Um, and I've heard some good things about him. So leave your comments below of what you think about Picked out a quote from Florian himself, which he said to Newcastle United when they did an interview, which is on their website, um, about how influential basically Rafa was about um, signing for the club. And he said, when you have a manager like Rafa Benitez who wants you, you are very happy to come. Since I've been in touch with the manager, it was an easy decision for me to come here. And that's a great thing to hear, you know, there's been so much speculation the past few weeks, Rafa's going to walk because he's not getting the transfers he wants, the board isn't working with him the way he wanted and all this carry on that's gone in the past few weeks. But when you hear a player that's just signed saying, when you hear Rafa Benitez wants you, that you, you're all of a sudden really happy to join the club, it's a really good thing that, to hear. So I'm delighted that the player that's joined now and hopefully players that join in the future are going to come out and say this about Rafa and hopefully this is going to end all the speculation and all of that because I'm sick of hearing about it now. The second thing I want to read out to you is a quote from Rafa Benitez um, saying if he settles well into English football then I am sure he will be a success and will give us a lot of competition in this area. And that's what I like to hear. I like to hear that we're going to have competition in the different positions across our team. You know, we've already got Jamal Lasalle's, Kieran Clark, Grant Hanley's probably going to move according to reports. Um, but competition's what I like to hear. I like to hear that the players are going to have to be at 100% all the time. And Rafa's been instilling that, that He's, he's quite a ruthless manager if you're not 100% and you, he knows you're not going to put 100% in you'll not play and that's a thing I like and I want competition to be throughout and I want them to be putting 100% in and you know this has been coming from since Rafa took over and the players have been so much more focused on being 100% in each game I've said 100% quite a lot um but yeah, he's focusing on that kind of competition thing, I think, now. And that's a great thing to have at the club. And before that, he goes on about how long he's known about him and how he's progressed through his career and all of that. So he has done his homework on this player, as Rafa always does. And it's good to see that Rafa is now able to go out, do like his bit on a player that he knows about and go into more depth and then go and sign him rather than sending a scout to just go and scout people kind of thing which we probably had going on before when we got a lot of players from the French market last time when that kind of all went a bit horribly wrong but now Rafa's got his chance and I think now we're going to see the reins being handed over to Rafa, Rafa being able to create his own team like a project to take on for the next few years and hopefully longer than a few yeah hopefully he signs a deal after the one that he's got runs out but um yeah I'm I'm thrilled that more business is starting to be done after the Christian Atsu transfer and hopefully this starts the ball rolling for the rest of the transfers 
hopefully there's some more um but yeah i'm really looking forward to it hopefully there's some more to come through and some more things to talk about but yeah another great day at newcastle for a signing <laughs> but yeah one thing um i was thinking about doing something a bit different on the channel i was thinking about doing something like a holiday vlog or a q a something like that let us know what you think of the idea of a holiday vlog because i'm kind of thinking about that in a minute um but yeah let us know again thank you all so much for your support on the channel yeah it's been amazing um we're past 300 subscribers now it's incredible so thank you all so much don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye